You didn't give me one either. Sorry. You didn't ask for one. <laughs> I will be Osceola Township Utility Board meeting to order. That's my chair. Uh, not no more. Roll call, Miss Wolf, please. Miss Carter. Here. I can't do anything over here, can we? Here. <laughs> here. here. We all set? I'm all set. Okay, thank you. Uh, first item on our proposed agenda is approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? I'll make the motion. Ms. Gardner, is there support? Yes, Ms. Cool. Are there any suggested additions or possible deletions to the proposed agenda? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to approve the agenda as presented, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Next item on our approved agenda is approval of the minutes from our April 13, 2022 meeting. Just everyone has had a chance to look at the meeting minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? The school moves. Is there support? I support. Ms. Gardner supports approval of the minutes. Are there any suggested additions, deletions, corrections, updates to the minutes as presented? Horst. Horst. Hey. Do you want my coffee, Louis? Comments? I've got one. Thank you. None? Mm -mm. All in favor of the motion to approve the minutes <laughs> as presented, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Pull the same sign, motion carries. Next item on our agenda are the financial reports closed in the packet. We you have, and I will go through them very quickly. This time you have profit and loss budget versus actual for the month of April. The balance sheet, check detail, two pages, deposit detail. Is there a check detail for the for the um, sewer stuff at all or? It, there's a that's in the big packet. There is a Mason wastewater fee chart as well for the month of April. Do we have any questions, comments relative to the reports, financial reports identified and the chart for Mason sewers collection? Hearing none, do I have a motion to recommend accepting the reports to the board? I move. Mr. Ware moves. Is there support for the motion to recommend the reports to the board? Support. Uh, multiple supports? Here. Sure. Motion and support. Are there any suggested uh, deletions, corrections to any of the reports, or any discussion after the motion on the report? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to recommend the financial reports to the board, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item six, payment of bills. The bills for the month are on the table. We'll be taking a look at them. Looking for a motion to recommend approving the payment bills for the month of April to the board. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Gardner moves that we recommend to the board approving all of the payments made on behalf of the water system to the board. Is there a support for that motion? Support. Multiple supports again. Um, <laughs> I'll take this one. Ms. Wood she beat Mr. Janky by just a fraction of a second. Uh, with a motion and support to recommend uh, bills as paid for approval to the board. Any discussion on the motion? Thanks, Bob. Appreciate the additional information. Anything else from anybody? Mm -mm. Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to recommend the board payment of the bills, please approve the payment of the bills. Please indicate 
by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, right. same sign. Motion carries. We've reached item seven on our agenda, public comment. Is there anyone here that would like to offer comment for the utility slash water board's consideration? If you do, uh, you'll have up to three minutes. Would we'll ask that you identify yourself, and the three minutes will begin when you begin talking. Uh, first, Smith, just a quick question. What does the AVIF mean on the minutes? All uh, voted all in favor. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There's a new one to put on my list. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Anybody else? Hearing none, we'll close the first of two public comment sessions for this meeting at this time. This will please count the time. Reports. Item 8, water operator report. Mr. Mackle, the floor is yours. I don't have very much to tell you. <laughs> Except that I screwed up in April. I forgot to do it back. Oh. So, it was says no problem. I think I have to put it in the, you know, do the CPR, I believe. But don't do it a second time because it'll cost two hundred dollars in a year. Uh, we, um, we spent a little bit of time in Tamarack uh, trying to find uh, leaks and, and after talking to Mark at Michigan American we determined that it's basically just let run. Uh, we used about the same amount last year, but what triggered that whole thing, Mark getting a hold of me, was he, he finally, I don't know if you ever noticed that before, but he finally looked how much we used in a month, and that's normal for that time of year. But what the problem was when they had that big leak in, in uh, Hubble, and that's what that's what set them off looking at this stuff because it took them a while to find the Hubble's leak and, and at the time they were they had normally run two pumps and they had to run a third pump trying to keep up so he said they run into the same thing they have people that let run and they let them know but they he says he sure there's people that they don't know that are using let runs is that that's in Tamarack is um is there a significant difference between between uh, build amount and and pump to, or uh, and build amount from the uh, build amount to the customers and build amount to the from from Michigan America? Oh yeah, there still is not. I mean, not anywhere near like us. No, no, no. There, there I hope is that a, that system is. It's not that, tight, but yeah, it's not. That's not really significant at all. Because the you know the system is so tight yet. Thank God. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be able to get up to the tank and get those drain valves replaced and the and the old tank cleaned out shortly. Uh, a couple of things that we need to to work on. We need to draft a letter about. I am supposed to inspect all services in the township that said all Dollar Bay and all Tamarack to see what's coming in and and then I have I don't know why I have to do that I'm not a plumber <laughs> they want to they want me to inspect the plumbing that's in the house well what the hell can I what? do about it and then uh, one of the one of the things that people don't know about in fact they just turn up Turn the water on there in uh, Tamarack, and I told uh, um, what's his name from. He goes around and shut, turns on and off people that are gone, and I told him to put a hose bib on that outside faucet, and, and he didn't realize that. I said, "That's code. No, you have to have a, an aerator." Another thing we have to draft a letter is that 
and review these le lead uh, service line replacements for what we can and can't do as far as uh, remediation after the fact. And I, met, I wrote down a bunch of stuff about not putting services in the driveways like oh, a lot of them are, I don't know why. And a replacement of trees and shrubs and stuff like that, we shouldn't have to replace that stuff. So, I mean, that's just stuff that we should talk over and get that straightened out. And, and we get these two different notices and, and we can make up a letter, draft a letter to that effect and, and mail it with our CCR. CCR is due uh, July 1st, so that'll give us time to, to do that. So that the people know that I have to inspect all services going into the house by the end of December 2024 because I have to report that to the state. <clears throat> um, that's about all I have really. The mileage was 560 miles or something very much. Yeah. Questions of Bob? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bob. Secretary's report in your packet. Just everyone's had a chance to look at it. <clears throat> Any questions of Crystal? Mason Sewer Operator's Report. Mr. Sir, the floor is yours. I've been checking it every Saturday. It's been running good. Last Saturday, I went up and checked the grain field up there. Got some more rocks that have pushed up there. I'm going to need to remove them because I don't want to hit them with the mower. There's a lot of tree branches down too. You wouldn't think they'd get there, but with the high winds we had, they blow all over. And I don't want to hit them. Also, I stopped along the roadside on Forestman Road there, and that little pool is still bubbling away. But I smelled the water, and it just water coming out of the ground. So you still have long water seeping uh, yeah. partway up Forestman Road that was checked last month. Yeah. By both you and I. Yeah. So I figured since I was going up there, I'd check that out. You don't have any grass up there, do you? On your grain field? Not yet, no. So I just, you know, since I was going there, I figured I'd check that out there. And then I talked to Tom that lives right down there at the pump station there. Mm -hmm. And I gave him my number there. I said, if you ever see the other light flashing, I'm going to drop that float on the other side there, but I'm going to have to wait till it pumps down. And I can set that float to the so it's flowing right there, and if it drops any lower than one light, it would be flashing again. Hmm. Finney uh, raised it up there, and I said, are you sure? I said, don't we have to drop that down because the light's going up? He said, only bring them up there. And it's like, well, my thing, you got to float. When it trips, it's got to be down. So we got the one side, it's always flashing. <laughs> so he pulled it up. He said, this will work. Been flashing for and a year. I'm not going to argue when it was under warranty here. Yeah. And he's climbed in there and did it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we mentioned this. Yeah. So I will, I'll have to wait, you know, to, to run through a site when it goes down and I'll drop that float back down. If you want, I'll roll out there with you one time too if you come, or come around. So. And somewhere in the road here too, I'm going to take and start pulling and cleaning them screens there. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to lift those cement caps right now. Hmm. Any idea over there? Not with what we have in the township, no. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know how you feel, but I'm buying a smaller tractor and coyote there. Got a bucket there, and I just run a couple. I chairs. tried to get us to buy one of those in the, with with the money. I tried to get us something more than just a mower. Well, just for your facts, it's a 25 horsepower diesel four wheel drive. And Put a blower in a bucket and paint thirty-three thousand. So that's remember we had checked the price between uh, zero turn and the mm -hmm. and when you guys have all looked at them, I knew right away we were looking at twenty-five or more. That's why we didn't get. Well, the other option here is to obviously. You know, you're going to need to be able to clean those screens out every so often. What did he open it up with when he climbed down there? Did he have a tractor? Well, I think you're climbing the vault. Oh, okay. 
these screens are underneath. Yeah, there, there should be under there should be screens at the at the inverts, right? Yeah. On the inlet inverts, and you're gonna pull the baskets up. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you're putting the screens on there. How long a project is it, John? Well, I'll have to talk to Bob here, see if we can hook up a hose or to clean them off, and I'll just wash them off right over the vault. So that way, all the debris in there will fall in the vault. So well, if there's there something significant hard, in there, then we gotta get it. We gotta back to. I mean, that's what the basket's for, you know, if right. that stuff doesn't get down into the pump. Well, I would take anything, you know, that doesn't belong there and throw it in a, a double might pump factor to, bag. That might have to coordinate something with one of our contractors to try to do so something over that. your service or someone do that? You know, all your leftovers off of the septic thing, concrete house, the machine that does that? Yeah, like a pretty good chunk of concrete, I think. Yeah. Could we rent equipment for a day? Check. If you don't mind, just make a call. Bobby needs to start looking into this because yeah. this isn't going to be the first time. We're going to have to come up with a procedure here. Yeah. I'm not, well, like Frank from the township they actually got a, like a boom that something wanted on the pickup. So I got to pick the manholes up first when the grader knocks the whole cast and off. I just use that boom there. And I can pick the whole thing up, swing it out to the side. And I'll pick a thousand pounds up. Like I'm not sure we'd call it something that would slide we don't have into anything like that right now. Obviously, if we could get another water truck, we'd set this this truck that we have right up now. We could set set something in that and use that for the maintenance department, and we could put some kind of a, a lifting boom on that thing. One that Bob's driving right now. Well, well, we're gonna have to look into this. Okay. But it's a good thing you brought it up because I'm not sure we want to be holding to a contractor every single time you need to go lift that up. Right. You want to check on you? rental? See what a piece well, of equipment. A lot of guys told me they had a thing, it's like a dolly on big tires there. Yeah. And it's got a thing that's thick and you just hook the chains up and you push back and you can pull it right off. Okay. But I haven't been able to find where they got it and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Can you put a can you put a hoist in your in the receiver, the trailer receiver in the back? Th that's what I was thinking about, something yeah. like that. I always thought it was really bad. Yeah. Easiest. Yeah, because we're not going to be picking up a ton of weight, but just yeah. enough where I don't want to throw my back off. Yeah. See what you can find out about a few of the options discussed, John. Okay. Let us know, would you please? We'll do. Hmm. That's all I have, man. You got a long term solution to the problem that you got to look into, too. So. We're going to come up with something. I mean, yeah. it can't be, I mean, that's way too much weight to expect a, an employee to lift. So, uh, we've got to come up with something. Anything else, Jim? That's it. Other questions, comments, relative to the discussion? <coughs> Thanks, Jim. Unfinished business, pass through Waterville update. Uh, we're waiting on our attorney to uh, provide input into the pass through Waterville's across the system that are significant in nature. I know a lot of past dues have been coming in uh, in recent days, but the larger ones are still outstanding. And we're talking to Pat next week when he comes back in off of vacation about a number of matters, and this is on the agenda to get uh, input from him as to how to proceed inside our ordinance to address this issue in a successful manner. So hopefully by the next meeting, we'll have really only two yeah but there's still significant amounts there's of yeah two that are huge that I don't know what to do with and then the others are being paid on and there's ten shutoffs set for Monday yeah. if they don't pay if they don't pay okay, so there is Ooh, action Bob, taken Bob's gonna be a popular guy on Monday <laughs> yeah I always take the heat <laughs> you guys make maybe you take motion. that day off and and, and yeah. Ron can go do it, hey? You guys, you guys <laughs> make here, right, Ron? <laughs> and I take the heat. <clears throat> well, we still have a few days to get caught up. Yeah. Okay. Resident was in today to finalize, right? I had three, actually. Well, actually, mm -hmm. progress is being made. Uh, any other questions, comments about past two bills? We'll have a legal opinion ideally by our next meeting. 
Uh, new business uh, in your packet is the draft amended budget for the water system here. It is an action item. Uh, for tonight, it includes the incorporation of the things we've been talking about. last page in your packet, focus on the budget. It's, uh, it may seem very similar to what we've already approved. It's actually a reduction of a little over $100. Uh, it has some questions that are still outstanding about uh, various revenue streams that apply to it, but we put uh, the water service uh, in as a uh, known revenue uh, along with others that we're pretty comfortable with looking at Krista for confirmation. And the expenses reflect all of the proposed changes in salary. They reflect the actual uh, bank principal and interest payments. Uh, you'll notice, for example, on line 830, it's just over 21,020. That's right out of the schedule, so it's down from last year's budget. Uh, a lot of items stayed the same. Uh, the dollar amount is virtually identical, less than 100. Uh, dollars from the one already approved. But as I said a moment ago, it does reflect proposed increases off the budget uh, salary worksheet that we've adopted for planning purposes. They both do, don't they? Yeah, both the Tamarack. Uh, I, mean, I mean, both of these do. Because I know it's the only one I changed was the Treasurer. Okay. You should have an Osceola one, you should have a Tamarack City one in your packet. I'm just looking but if you're looking at the budget that's in your packet with the expenses and the uh, and identified as the budget. The only difference that you'll notice of any appreciable degree is the dollar amount drops to 231680 versus 231800 Are you finding that? I found that. Yeah, that's it. The rest of it is pretty much the same. The salaries and whatever that have been proposed, the increases and whatever have all been accounted for in the proposed expense lines. What's going into the miscellaneous expense right now that's... I'm sorry, I'm Don, sorry. obviously I didn't answer your question. <laughs> what are you finding confusing? Oh, oh, I noticed you put the salaries in, right? Yeah. Okay, treasury clerk salary went from 81 to 90, or 9,060. 9, yeah. The water supervisor never changed the water board. It didn't, didn't it didn't change. Well, the water board wouldn't change because two of the members of the water board are paid separately and not accounted for. This is leaving the rate the same for the balance of the water board that are paid out of the water system for attending meetings. The two so members, that didn't change. That didn't change. There's okay. no need to change. Unlike Tamarack City, where there's a recommended increase right. to get up to this rate, it stays the same because it is at the existing rate. Okay. For meeting. With regards to the water supervisor's salary, it was higher than per, than reality last year. It is now more accurate for closer reflection to what it will be actually be paid at this moment. Okay. So there it does reflect a substantial increase, seven percent over the past rate. Okay. That will ultimately be paid out to the water supervisor. Correct. If this is approved. So yeah, sorry that's not clear in here because a lot of the numbers are the same. But if they were already at a level that could support the changes that are being proposed, we didn't change the number. Great. Yeah. Good enough. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> that, that almost sounded coherent, was it? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you did great. I've been going cross-eyed looking at figures for the last few weeks, so I'm delighted that made sense. Thank so, you. So, um, again, what, what are we spending on miscellaneous expenses that's going into that? Do we know what's, what we're charging to that line out? I couldn't tell you right now without being on my computer, but I can tell you after you need to know. Sure. I mean, I, I see it's almost a, weird things uh, that almost a 40%. Really, and did we yeah. just miss the mark on that one? Or is that yeah. something that we're buying at the beginning of that we don't, Maybe, yeah, don't need to be. buy again? Or, and it might just have to go somewhere else later. But <clears throat> Okay, so something may have got put in there and then it yeah. might get shifted again later. Exactly. I think you hit the nail on the yeah. head there. Yeah. It, it's, not a, it's not a huge amount. We're only talking 500 bucks, but we... Right. But, but the, the whole the whole budget is twelve hundred, so and we're already at forty percent in the like first things month. Things don't have a 
We're at 40% the first yeah. month. I'm a little worried that we're not. Your point is well made. That might be an anomaly or it could be a one time expense. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then you'll notice six months from now the dollar amount hasn't changed. Yeah, that's that's why I was asking what, what yeah. goes into that one. What I'm asking the board to consider recommending up to the township board is approval of this amended budget for Move. current fiscal year. Moved by Mr. Janke to approve the amended budget uh, for the utility board budget, i.e. water system. Is there support for the motion to approve the amended budget? I'll support it. Support from Mr. Ware. So we have a motion and support for the amended budget for the water system, recommending it up to the township board for action at the meeting to follow. Any questions, comments, or additional offers of information on budget? Since this is a recommendation, a roll call is not needed. All in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you very much. That concludes mm -hmm. items under new business. Does anybody have anything they feel we need to discuss before we call for public comment? Mr. Sira, is there something you'd like there to answer? There was one thing I, Bob reminded me about there about two people have not tied into the Mason sewer system. Mm. And would you suggest, Bob, that we might have to do it? Do we have to do it and then put it on the bill? Is that how this that's, is going to work? I'm not sure. That's why. It's going to be interesting because I don't, we have a hard time paying bills that get collection on bills that people don't pay. So hey, Bob, we put a big bunch on there. Which two do houses that that again? The ordinance it requires it payment. Vincent's. Two of them, does it not? Yeah, yeah but. They didn't take advantage. But I mean, if you look at the, look at our history with the water system. No. If they don't want to pay bills. They're not paying they're not paying them. So if we put a ten thousand dollar item on our bill and say you got to pay it, I mean three thousand dollar bill, five thousand dollar bill, whatever, are we going to be able to collect it if we do it if we go that route? Are they not hooked up? Are they still operating out of septics? That's as far as we know. He's, right? he's that's Vincent on the bottom, and he's got those two houses, and he oh, he's he ain't ever coming either. back there. But then yeah. there's one more down the road. And the issue becomes a health department issue. You're in violation of the ordinance and in violation of what was expected of the people in Mason. But this is a health issue, in my opinion, on top of a financial. Are you, can you check with them and see what's That's that? what I'm suggesting. We'll look into this and get in touch with the health department. What's our, what's our One house, he lives there and he's using water, but the other house, he doesn't live there. He hasn't lived there for, I think, two years. Yeah, he got moved something? to Marquette. His about, daughter was just about here. Robert Vincent. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, that's like separate. They didn't even know he had all these outstanding bills and everything. Like the taxes weren't getting paid or anything. So no, no, there's like a lot of issues going on. Water's off to his house. Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not, but we still need to follow up with correspondence to them. <laughs> yeah. Their yeah. The I mean, the service is there. Yeah. It is meeting the expectation of hookup, which is the ordinance requires if available. Mason, you got to hook up. Mm -hmm. but let, you have to let him know and or caretakers or whomever is responsible. We'll follow up on that. There's another one though, Bob? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the other uh, property receiving water? Yes. Okay, so they're on the water but not hooked up to the sewer. We need to send them uh, perhaps a reminder, uh, politely but firmly worded, indicating you've got to hook up, giving them some. Such a different person than even want being there. And then we'll, but we'll also be on a parallel track following up with the health department and or expectations. Vincent won't be going back in there. No, I know that's the likelihood. I, I'm, in that case, if somebody happens to buy the property, the water don't go on until they hook up. That's all. Period. Mm -hmm. Probably where we're at, they're they're getting charged anyways, as if they're hooked up, right? Correct. Yeah. We're paying the debt retirement. So we just have to. I agree with Bob that there's probably a point here where we just have to say, I mean, you're not going to do it for them and put them on the taxes. I, I just can't see that happening. So that whoever ends up with the property is going to have to just 
going to end up like we would like we do with some of these other water things. Yeah. Yeah, that's analogous to the recommendation that came up from the Tamarack City Water it's Board about their. It's interesting that we can use the water department for a hammer for the sewer department, but um, <laughs> we might want to make sure that we're okay with that. I'm legally, for real, yeah. for real, uh, yeah. we may want to make sure that we can use one department as a hammer for the other one. Aaron raises an important point. If you would remind me to add that to my list of things to talk about with Pat, mm -hmm. we've got an anomaly about hookup and mason on the sewer, and we want to make sure that we're covered if we require sewer, sewer hookup to turn on water to a new aquifer. Is that good? Is that it? Yeah. 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 That's a good point. It might be all townships, so maybe it's okay. I, I don't know. But, uh, I'll ask Pat. We may have to add it to our orbits. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is I got to revisit that before I visit with him, make sure that I I'm pointing out in the ordinance what is expected and getting a copy to him too. Yeah, I mean something along the lines of you know any any uh, amounts due to to the township at all it would be it would, I I don't know how we'd word that, but would constitute the ability to be able to turn the water off, you know, but that's, that sounds sketchy too. So I don't know, I'm a little worried about that, but yeah, anyways. We'll okay. follow up, we'll, we'll yep. get a legal See opinion right on the ordinance. Yeah. Thank you, good idea. Thanks, Jim, thanks, Bob. Anything else before I ask for public comment one more time? Any, any on the board have anything else that they'd like to offer? I think we need to discuss. Hearing none, we've reached uh, the end of uh, our business agenda, but we do have one more opportunity for public comment. If anybody here would like to offer a comment for the board's consideration, uh, please feel free to do so. Identify yourself, and when you begin speaking, you will have three minutes. Would anybody like to address the water slash utility board before I call for an adjournment? Hearing none, Ms. Wolf, you would kindly note the time. I'll be concluded by the business portion, and the second public comment uh, session has been offered uh, without comment. At the end of our agenda, we'll I'll have a motion to adjourn. Second. Ms. Wolf, a second from Mr. Janke. All in favor of the motion to adjourn, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We stand adjourned. Please